In this video, we will download and run a sample for MapSuite Mobile for iOS from our GitHub repository. To start, we'll navigate to the main page of our MapSuite wiki and click on Mobile for iOS. Here in the table of contents, you can see quick links. We are going to click on Learning Samples and then click Explore and Study All Learning Samples. Again, we have another table of contents with links to different samples, but we're going to start with a quick start sample for iOS. We scroll down and choose View this sample on GitHub. From our repository, we click on Clone or Download, and then Download Zip. We navigate to the folder and Extract, and open the folder. Then we open the Quick Start Sample solution in Visual Studio. Our references will not be restored, as you can see by the yellow caution symbol. We right-click References, then click Manage NuGet Packages. As you can see here, there will be a yellow bar at the top of the Package Manager, notifying us that the packages need to be restored. We click Restore here, and after a brief moment, we can refresh the solution to see that the packages have been restored. Now we can start the application. Here we're using VNC Viewer as a remote. As the application loads, it will throw an exception. This exception will not be thrown if you have an active license. To activate a license, we'll need to go to the Map Suite Runtime License Guide. The link is in the exception. From here, we will download the Product Center. You can also access the product center from a package in the solution. For this sample, we chose to download the product center. Now we open the product center and it will prompt us for our username and password. If you do not have an account, you can create a new account here. Then we enter our information and log in. We then click on mobile for iOS and are prompted if we're sure we want to activate the license and choose activate license. If you've not purchased the product, you will see trial activated instead. Now we need to retrieve the runtime license. We return to the application, right click on quick start samples and choose properties. We then click iOS application and copy the identifier. We paste that into the Product Center's Runtime License box and click Create. It will prompt us where we want to save the license. And we will then navigate to the license and copy it. From there we return to the solution and paste it into the solution. We then right click, go to Properties, and choose Bundle Resource under Build Action. We right click the project and clean, and now we can start the application again. After a brief moment, the application will load, and our map sample is complete. Thank you for watching.